welcome back now what we need to do is that we need to display the button the PayPal's button so I'm gonna copy the button from here I'm gonna copy the button and then I'm gonna remove it and then I'm gonna paste it here below the total so we need to display it here here I'm gonna paste it so we have the PayPal's button here now let's test so I'm gonna save everything now save all and then I'm gonna head on over to the browser and test first I'm gonna refresh the products and then I'm gonna add something to cart I'm gonna add this to cart and then I'm gonna check out and fill out this form to see whether the button exists or not so let me fill out this form let me fill the form fill out the form and then I'm going to click on the checkout if I click on checkout as you can see PayPal's button now is being displayed here in the uh, in the payment page so whenever the user uh, wants to uh, check out the button will be displayed and the good news about this button is that it's it's not going to be displayed if if there is nothing in the cart for example if you remove everything from the cart if you go back to the uh, if you go to the cart page if you go to the cart and remove everything from the cart and then try to go to the payment page let me go to the payment payment page it will it will not display the button so the button doesn't exist here it says you don't have an order because there is nothing in the cart